so retiring partner get share in goodwill from the remaining partner in sacrificing ratio you need to remember this that the uh, remaining partner will pay in which ratio sacrificing ratio sacrificing ratio or you can say gaining ratio so, uh, these are same things so sacrificing or gaining ratio okay okay sir okay now let's say if uh, one partner is getting all the share from retiring partner okay okay sir let's say uh, there is three partners a b and c and as per the ratio calculation which we have done already so let's say these three are partners their profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1 now c retired and uh, his share and his share acquired by b only fully okay okay sir now let's say the value of goodwill of firm of firm is 1 lakh 50000 okay okay sir now how much amount C will get and who will pay uh, this amount to C? We will uh, pay the amount. Yes, who will pay the amount and how much amount C will get? Uh, Uh, C will get according to his ratio. How much? It will be one divided by six into one lakh fifty thousand. So. What can you repeat? One divided by six into one lakh fifty thousand. One divided by six into one lakh fifty thousand. Yes. Okay. How much it will be? Uh, share of C will be one lakh fifty thousand into twenty five thousand. So it is twenty five thousand. Yes. Okay. Now uh, C will get twenty five thousand. But who will pay this amount to C? B. Only B or A also? I think A will also pay. A will also pay? Yes, Why sir. But I think so. Because when he had joined the firm, his goodwill was shared amongst the partners so while he's retiring he will be paid by all the partners what i told you goodwill is distributed in which ratio sacrificing sacrificing or gaining yes so is a is gaining something no it's not so so a won't do anything only b he will not contribute anything because if you are not getting something from uh, the partner then why you will pay him i already told you that the goodwill is compensation what is it compensation compensation for the share of profit sacrificed or gain okay sir. okay so uh, c is sacrificing his share but his share is fully acquired by B only, so only B will pay this amount to C. Okay, sir. Okay, so goodwill is the compensation for sacrifice of a share. So that's why total amount will be paid by B. Okay, sir.
So it will be paid by B. So this is our, you can see the uh, journal entry here. Gaining partners capital account debit to sacrificing partners capital account. It means there will be a journal entry. Gaining partner capital account is debit. So B is gaining partner. B capital account debit to C capital account. Yes. Yes. And 25,000. Is this clear? Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay. So this is our first part in goodwill. So firm goodwill is multiplied with retiring partner share of profit, which you have done already. 1,50,000 into 1 by 6. Yes? Yes. After that, share of retiring partner is multiplied with remaining partner's gaining ratio. So share is fully acquired by B. So there is no gaining ratio okay yes so all the amount will be paid by b only so b account debit to c account okay sir. okay uh we have discussed this already uh the note written here you can see please read the note yes sir if there is an in the existing goodwill given question then it will be written off in all ratio what does it mean hence if there is any goodwill in the uh, firm and if we have to remove it and it's existing goodwill so it will be written off in all ratio yes first of all if there is any existing goodwill then we have to remove that okay yes and we will remove that existing goodwill in old ratio. Now, goodwill is an asset. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, you have to uh, like depreciate all the assets. Depreciate this asset. Goodwill. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So, what do you think? Uh, goodwill will be written in which side of journal entry? Assets, so it will be in the credit side. Asset will be written on the credit side if it is decreasing. So yes, we are writing off, off the goodwill. So it means it is decreasing or uh, removed from the balance sheet. So it yes. is decreasing. That's why goodwill is credited here. You can see the journal entry. Partners capital account debit to goodwill account. Now, that goodwill is uh, written off goodwill is treated as loss. Okay. Okay, sir. So we have distributed this loss in the old ratio between 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 uh, all the partners. So it is distributed in all the partners. Okay, sir. Yes, because a retiring partner was also part of the firm. So it is not like that. We will only write off existing goodwill between remaining partner. No, it will be written off in remaining and retiring both type of partners means all the partners. Okay. Sir. So this is our goodwill concept. Now there is one hidden goodwill concept also in this uh, retired. Okay. Okay. sir. But hidden goodwill in retirement case is easy because uh, it can be calculated like hidden goodwill. Now in this uh, hidden goodwill, there is some amount payable that we calculate amount payable to retiring It is, let's say, total amount payable to retiring partner is 67,000. Okay. Okay, sir. But amount paid to retiring partner is 70,000. Okay. Okay, sir. 
So amount payable is 67,000 and amount we actually paid to him is 70,000. So why anyone will pay more amount than the actual amount payable? because he brought more goodwill or he invested more capital. Mm. C is retiring in the given quotient. Okay. Okay, sir. And there is no information about goodwill in the quotient. Okay. okay. Only uh, the sentence is written here is 67,000 is total amount payable to C but the actual amount paid to C is 70,000. Now, if the amount payable to him is 67,000, then why we will pay 70,000? Because uh, compensation was added. Because he has worked in the firm for a very uh, long time and we want to give him some extra. Okay, there is no okay. information about goodwill. There is no information about goodwill. That's why we assumed that in 67,000, there is no goodwill included. Okay, sir. So good, goodwill and compensation both are one only. Uh, yes. So we have given, uh, we have given 3,000 extra for goodwill purpose, compensation purpose. Okay, sir. Okay. So this is called hidden goodwill. Okay, sir. So, if uh, if we talk about the definition part, amount paid to retiring partner. In excess of actual amount payable. is treated as hidden goodwill. Okay. Okay. Sir. It is treated as hidden goodwill. Now, uh, for this hidden goodwill, for this 3000, we will, uh, the accounting treatment will be same. Okay, we will do the same thing as we have done in uh, the previous concept. Here, we have passed this journal entry. If let's say all the share of all the share of C is acquired by then the amount of goodwill that is. Second, so repeat. If all the shares of C is acquired by B. okay okay sir okay Patient then sir. total amount of goodwill total amount of goodwill will be payable by other remaining partners payable by remaining partners mm. so a journal entry will be passed with what amount? With the payable account um, amount. Amount. I'm asking how much? 3,000. 3,000. 3,000 is for goodwill. Yes? Yes. So 3,000 will be recorded in journal entry for goodwill. And which partner will pay? Uh, the remaining partners will pay to the Retiring partner. Only gaining partner? No, only the sacrificing partner. Gaining partner. Okay, so gaining partner. Only the gaining partner. And who is the gaining partner here? It's B. It's B. So B will pay 3000 to C. Yes. Okay, so this is our goodwill concept. Now I'm sharing a portion with you.
sir one second i have got a call okay yes okay you can see the question yes sir i can see okay so please read question number Seventeen. A, B, and C are three partners sharing profits in the ratio of four is to three is to two. B retires and goodwill of the firm is valued at rupees ten thousand eight hundred. No goodwill appears as yet in the books of the firm. A and C decide to share profit, future profits in the ratio of five to three, as general entries. So their old ratio was four is to three is to two. Yes. Sir. So, as per the question, the old ratio is four is to three is to two. And the partner's name is uh, A, B, and C. And uh, new ratio. New ratio of A and C. It's 5 is to 3. Is 5 is to 3. Who retired from the firm? B. B. So this is the main component of our portion. Now, goodwill of the firm retires and goodwill of the firm is valued at 10,800. Sir, if they ask the sacrificing ratio, it's uh, 5 is to 3 only. This is our portion. Now, uh, what you were saying, or uh, the sacrificing if, ratio? If they ask the sacrificing ratio to find here, it will be 5 is to 3. How could you say that? Because uh, no, sir, it's wrong. So we have to do it uh, old ratio minus new ratio. Yes. Okay, sir, got it. And uh, actually, no, uh, first of all, uh, you can use the formula of sacrifice old ratio minus new ratio, but here we have to calculate gain. So Gain is equals to new minus old. Yes, sir. Opposite new minus old. So first of all, actually, uh, it is not saying, but we have to calculate because goodwill is distributed in sacrificing ratio or gaining ratio. Yes, sir. So working note number one: gaining sacrifice. Actually, both is same. Sometimes it is gaining, sometimes it is sacrificing. One partner may be sacrificing, other may be gaining. So that's why we say gaining and sacrifice. So okay, A and C. Actually, B is retiring, so B is sacrificing part. We have to calculate only uh, the gaining partner, sorry, remaining partner gain. So it is new minus old, so 5 by 8 for A and 3 by 8 for C and 4 by 9 for A old ratio and 2 by 9 for C old ratio. Now, 
सेवेंटी टू फोर्टी फाइव थर्टी टू सो इट इज थर्टीन बाई सेवेंटी टू Sir, how will we know? You have to find the gaining ratio or sacrificing ratio. Because goodwill is always distributed in which ratio? Sacrificing ratio. So you need sacrificing ratio. Okay, sir. Nine. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, sir. So this is their sac uh, gain. This is their gain. And if we say gaining ratio, then it will be thirteen is to nine. Sir, how is it uh, gain? And it is in fraction, then it is gain. Okay, we sir. Have, we have used the formula of new minus old. Yes. Okay. If we have used old minus new, and the result is positive, then it is sacrifice. Old minus new is sacrificing. That's why. Yes. Old minus new is sacrifice. New minus old is gain. Okay, sir. But when the result is negative, when The result is negative, then uh, the answer will be just opposite. If you are calculating sacrifice and answer is negative, then it will be gain. Okay, sir. Got it. If you are calculating gain and answer is negative, then it is sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice. So gaining ratio thirteen is to nine. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Good. Now goodwill part. So working note number two. Share of B in goodwill. Ten thousand eight hundred is total goodwill. Yes. And ratio was three by nine. Old ratio of B is three to nine. So three thousand six hundred. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Now uh, we can calculate by two methods. There is two methods to calculate the contribution of A and C. Contribution of A and C. There is two methods. Either you can use this amount or total goodwill. Second, so repeat. You can use either this amount. Or this amount. Okay, sir. So let's say I will calculate by both method. Three thousand six hundred, three thousand six hundred. Okay. Or in second method, it is ten thousand eight hundred and ten thousand eight hundred multiplied by. This is first method. This is. Second method. Now, if you are using the retiring partner share of goodwill, that is three thousand six hundred, then you have to use ratio. This is thirteen is to nine. Okay. Okay, sir. So thirteen is to nine will be written as here thirteen is to It will be thirteen divided by nine. How much? Thirteen divided by nine. 
Okay, 13 divided by 9. The ratio is written like this. Uh, so 9 by 13, I think. 13 divided by total of these two, 22. Okay, sir. Yes, yes. yes. You have done this several times. Yes, I just my mind was not clicking. And if you are using total goodwill, total goodwill of form. Okay. Uh, in if you are using goodwill of partner, then you have to use a ratio. If you are using goodwill of form, then you have to use fraction. This fraction. Okay, sir. 13 by 72 and 10,800, 9 by 70. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, it will be 3600 into 13 divided by 22. This is incorrect. Two thousand one twenty seven. It is somehow mistake. Sir, uh, while finding the sacrificing ratio, I think we have find, found the gain. No, that's okay. It's fine. Is there anything other item written question? Yes, ABC code will appear as yet in the AAPs to share the future profit in the ratio of 5 to 3. Past journal increase. Okay. How it is possible? Just one minute. Ten thousand eight hundred into oh sorry, divided by seventy two into 13 this is different that's why i'm thinking it is incorrect this is different and this is different both will, should be same actually there will be a mistake here yes that was Mistake here. It is eleven by seventy two. Yes, it's eleven. I have written it nine. Okay, so amount will change here. Thirteen divided by 24 or 11 divided by 24. Okay, now it is 1950. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes. So it means you have to use any of these two methods, but for selection of any one method, you have to change the ratio also. Okay, sir. So if you are using the amount share of partner, then you will use the ratio. And if you are using total goodwill of firm, then you have to use fraction 
that you get in calculation of gain. Okay, sir. So you can write this as no. Use sacrificing ratio. For share of retiring partner in goodwill or use the sacrifice in fraction. for total goodwill of firm. Okay? Okay, sir. Please write this. You understood the question? Yes, I understood. Okay. Uh, if I give you one question right now, you can solve it. Yes, sir, I can. Okay, first write it. After that, I will give you. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. So now please solve the portion number eighteen. <clears throat> portion number eighteen. Okay, sir. Is there anything you want to ask? No, sir, I'm doing.
sir uh, i have found the sacrificing ratio but i have got minus 3 by 18 and minus 3 by 18 sir you're mute uh, both minus 3 by 18 and minus 3 by 18 yes sir For A and C. Yes, sir. It's 9 minus 12 divided by 18 and 3 minus 6 divided by 18. Uh, can you repeat? 9 minus 12 divided by 18 and 3 minus 6 divided by 18. Uh, what formula you have used? Old minus new, new minus old? Old minus new for sacrifice. But we have to calculate gain here, yes? Sir, so where is it gain written? You have calculated it like this 3 by 6 minus 2 by 3. Yes, sir, I didn't that. And 1 by 6, six. Divided. yes. 1 by 6 minus 1 by 3. One by, yes, sir. And you get uh, minus 3 by 18 minus 3 by 18. Yes, sir. So, okay, it is gain. Okay, sir. I told you that when you use formula of sacrifice and you get the answer negative, then it is gain. Yes, sir. So, it is gain 3 by 18, 3 by 18. Yes, sir. So, now yeah. I should multiply 3 by... If you... If you convert this into ratio then what you will get three is to three means one is to one yes okay okay now the next step i think it is three divided by six into ninety thousand three divided by six is because uh, then Okay, the good will be removed by old ratio. First of all, first of all, you have to calculate the share of retiring part. Share of retiring. Sir, can you show that part? Retiring partner share. Retiring partner? Uh, I have to find retiring partner share, but I'm not able to. Why? Because uh, I think uh, we have to use the old ratio. Actually, think about it. Retiring partner is leaving from the firm. Yes. Okay. So uh, we don't know the sacrifice or gain of retiring partner you are saying? Yes. Okay. If he's going and uh, he's leaving his share, then he's leaving all his share. Yes. Yes. It means his old share is also his sacrifice. Okay, sir. So it is uh, 2 divided by 6. Yes. Into 90,000. Yes. Okay, sir. Uh, now I have got uh, 30,000 as his share. Yes, 30,000 is share of retiring partner. Now, the contribution of remaining partner. So it will be 3 divided by 6 into 30,000. 3 divided by 6? Yes. Okay. Okay, calculate. Okay, sir. Actually, one more thing you have to remember that whenever you uh, write any ratio, then you have to make it the smaller. Okay? Add okay to, sir. Uh, as much small as you can make it. Means 3 is to 3 is not a small uh, ratio, you can say. 
if it is uh, it is it can be cut by single number same number then you have to cut it and make it a small okay sir. so 3 is to 3 can be cut by 3 yes yes so it will become 1 is to 1 so you have to do 30000 into 1 by 2 30000 into 1 by 2 okay sir So I got 15,000. That is the answer. What will be the journal entry? Um, it will be B's account is in credit. So uh, I think Remaining partner's capital account debit to B's capital account. You know the name of partners, so you have to say it. Okay, sir. A's capital account debit, B's capital account debit, no, C's capital account debit to B capital account. And amount? The amounts A capital account debit is 15,000. C's capital account debit is 15,000 to B's capital account 30,000. Very good. Yes, this is correct answer. Now, uh, now you can solve any of these portion. Uh, there is a portion number 19. Can you read the portion? A and B, A, B and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 4 divided by 9 is to 3 divided by 9 is to 2 divided by 9. If you convert this into ratio, then what you will get? 4 is to 3 is to 2. Okay, read next. B retires and his capital after making adjustments for reserves and gain profit on revaluation stands at rupees 1 lakh 39,200. A and C agree to pay him rupees 1 lakh 50,000 in full settlement of his claim. Record necessary general entry for adjustment of goodwill if the new profit sharing ratio is de decided at 5 to 3. Okay. Is there any information of goodwill given in the question? No, sir. But they are saying to you that you have to adjust the goodwill. So it's yes. hidden goodwill here. Yes, it's hidden goodwill here. So what I have told you for hidden goodwill. The amount payable and amount actually paid. You have 10 lakh 10,800. 10,800, yes. So this is the amount of goodwill. Okay. Okay, sir. And you will pass the journal entry in the same manner as we have done in the previous portion. Only this calculation is additional. Okay, sir. First, you will calculate sacrificing ratio, sacrificing or gaining ratio, and then you will calculate share of goodwill of each partner. Okay. Sir. Okay. And then you will pass journal entry. Okay. Sir. Okay. So, is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anything you want to ask now? No, sir. Do you have any doubt in? this topic or any previous topic just i wanted to know finding the new ratio it is uh, first we have to do it one minus the sacrificing ratio no, like no. that this is this is the concept of admission chapter there are different concept so you cannot use the uh, concept of one chapter for, uh, in to another chapter okay sir if you assume total profit as one, you are saying that? Yes, sir. No, I have already taught you different cases in case of retirement. Yes. Yes, sir. So finding the new ratio, how we can do it? 
finding the new ratio, these are the cases. Okay. And okay, all, sir. this is all, all cases uh, written here. You already copied this. I think uh, taken the screenshot. Yes, sir. Yes. So uh, you can see it here also. This is different chapter. Yes. Yes. This is sacrifice, sacrifice, uh, A, B, and C, five is to three is to two. Uh, their new ratio is, actually C is the retiring partner. So A and B ratio is five is to three. Only uh, two is removed because C is a retiring partner. So we will remove his share. In this portion, A, B, and C are partner, three, two is to one. A is a retiring partner. So when their old ratio and partner who is retiring is given in the quotient, then you don't have to do any calculation. You just remove the share of retiring partner from the ratio. You will get the new ratio. Okay, sir. This is first case. Uh, so these are the cases, four cases in case of retirement we have to use for calculation of new ratio. So you will uh, check your notebook. It will be written in your notebook. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have any doubt after reading this, then you can ask question. Okay, sir. Okay. So please uh, first revise the concept. And if you have any doubt, we will discuss the problem in our next class. Okay, sir. But uh, just try to continue.